Hi. Today we're going to be working with a neural filter. It's the landscape mixer. I've got three examples for you. We're going to be replacing dirt and grass with better grass. And the third one is going to be adding snow to a scene that doesn't have any because it's winter time and that's what we want in our pictures with our kids. Now I'll be making selections outside of the neural filter, then going into the filter and doing our thing with adding the grass and snow. I'm not sure how many people are actually doing this right now, but let's give it a shot. I know you can make the selections within the filter, but I don't think they're in the game yet to be doing that accurately. You can do a better job outside of the neural filter and then bringing it in. So let's give it a shot. I got my cup of coffee. Let's get on it. Oh, this isn't good. All right, in this first example of the landscape mixer tool, what we're going to do here is the, the ground here kind of looks grim. So what I've done is I've created my own selection and I've saved it because trying to watch me do a selection is worse than paint drying. Now this is the cool thing about doing selections in neural filters. I'm not sure if anybody's talking about that, but here we go. So let's copy the layer and go to select, load selection, and I'm selecting the grass. All right, now let's go up to filter, neural filters. Now let's go to landscape mixer. Now, because it's in beta, there has been some errors, but I found that if you uncheck harmonize subject, the errors go away. Now, let's go back up top and select custom. Select an image, and we'll do it from the computer. It's a JPEG, so I'll have to change it there and grab my lawn. So it'll do its thing. It'll process on your device here. And bam, we've got lawn exactly where you selected in the picture that you're going to work on. Now, along the edge here, it kind of looks, you know, a little bit phony baloney, but that's easy to fix. Now you can either use some of these uh, selections down here for different parts, summer, spring, night, day, but I'm just going to leave it as it is, as it's a nice sunny day and the, the grass looks sunny. So make sure you select Smart Filter and go OK. Now the cool thing is, is we can select the layer mask, go to your brush, maybe floor about 15%, make sure that your brush is black. We'll just go along the edges here to your taste of what the grass would be doing on the edges just to make it more realistic looking. Now, also what you can do is hold your control button down, select the layer mask, and it'll bring up the selection again. Now, let's go to curves. Now with curves, it'll grab the selection and you can make it brighter or darker. Maybe add a little bit of yellow because it was sunny that day, whatever you wish. And that's the cool part of that. But now let's get rid of the curves layer for a second. And you can see before, after, and it makes your picture a lot nicer. Well done. All right, let's take a little break here and let our eyes adjust a bit. I'd like to remind everybody to like, subscribe, Ring my bell for all future videos coming up for Photo 911. Thanks. Now, in my second example of using selections in neural filters, I've got Yoga Girl doing her thing here. So what we'll do is copy the layer. And I've made my selection and saved it. And what I've done is I've grabbed just the grass I want to change. So once again, let's go to Filter. Neural filters, go to landscape mixer, scroll down, make sure everything's kind of cool, preserve subject. Now I'm going to use the same grass picture I used before for this one. So I'm selecting an image from the computer. It's a JPEG, so I'll grab it from there. And once again, it'll process on your device and do its thing and you've got grass. Now, it looks a little bit different than the other one, 
But what we can do is let's throw day in there about, oh, I don't know, 20%, 21%. Does that make, make it look better? Possibly not. But you can do it towards your taste. So what will happen, you can use day or night or sunset or spring or summer or whatever. But make sure you have output smart filter. And we'll go OK. Now, the thing that I don't like is along the edge here, you'll see that it kind of looks a bit phony baloney. But select the layer mask. Go to your brush, B for brush. And make sure your flows maybe, oh, I don't know, about 10%. Make sure that it's black. And just go along the edges of where your selection was. And what it does is it gives it that little more realistic look that the grass was actually meant to be there. All right, now again, once again, let's select the layer, hold your control button down, and it'll reload that selection as it is now. And go to curves and do something towards your taste. I'll make it a little bit darker for the way the grass might have been. Add a bit of yellow to it, or maybe even a bit of green. Whatever you wish to do with this picture to make sure the grass looks good for you. Selections and neural filters. All right. All right, now for my last example, I'd like to go to the complete opposite. You've got this cute kid in the car here for wintertime. It's got the Christmas lights, but there's no snow. I didn't download any snow from the internet or anything, but I have made my selections. The first selection I'm going to do is just the ground, and I'll show you what can be done. So make your selection. We'll copy the layer, and I'll go here. Load selection, and we're just going to do the ground. Now let's go to filter, neural filters. Landscape mixer, make sure everything's cool down there, preserve subject. Now I'm not going to use any of the options, I'm just going to use winter. So the AI will kind of make the ground look like there's snow on it. I'm going to make it 100%. It'll process on your device. And here we go. Got nice snow all around. So smart filter again for the output. Hit OK. Now if there's anything you don't like, once again, you can use your layer mask there. Hold the control button down, select layer mask. And once again, go to levels or whatever adjustment you want to make. We'll make it darker, we'll make it lighter for snow, whatever you wish. The curves will do that. Now, let's go to our second example. In this example, I want to do the whole thing but the kid in the car. So what I'll do is I'll copy the layer. And I go load my selection, and I selected the kid in the car. But what I did do is invert the selection, so just the outside is going to get altered. Let's filter, neural filters, landscape mixer. Make sure everything's cool on the bottom here so we don't get any error messages. Now, once again, what I'm going to do... Instead of choosing any of these options here or using a picture that I grabbed from the net or their presets, I'm just going to use again winner and put it 100%. It'll process on your device and then you have winter all around in the tree, everything except for the little kid, which is cool. Now make sure the output is smart filter, hit OK. Now, once again, if you don't like what it's done somewhere in the picture, make sure you grab the layer mask, B for brush, your flow about 10%. Let's say you didn't like what was going on with the tree in some parts of it. Lightly brush over the tree to do what you wish. Maybe you didn't like this part, but you're given total control of what you want to do. Again, if you want to use curves, just select the layer mask and use curves. All right.
Like I said, you can alter the snow, the grass, or whatever you're doing with the layer mask, with curves, or whatever you want to do, and it'll turn out great for you. Now, if you want me to do the whole picture, let me know in the comments. I'll do the whole picture from beginning to end, and I'll show you what I would do. Thanks for sticking it out with 4911. See you soon.